Board gaming and coffee are a great combination. Let's take a look at a game where you are literally making coffee in the game. Hey, I'm Will. This is Carbon Matt. We're going to be taking a look at Coffee Roaster today. This is a game designed by Sashi, and it used to be part of the Sashi and Hiyashi brand in Japan, but it has since been brought over and translated by Stronghold Games in this edition you see here. They've uh, kind of modernized the look a bit and made it uh, less colorful and cartoony, which I mean is a great look, but they wanted to give it uh, more of a, uh, a coffee house kind of vibe to it. So we will be looking at playing through a full round of the game today. And uh, if you want to learn the game as we go, I will be kind of going over the rules while we play. So you'll see kind of how the game works. And then I will give my review at the end. So let's begin. All right, here I have selected the India's Kerala Appa coffee bean. Uh, it is a level three difficulty. Um, kind of a moderate. So this uh, would, I'm just playing a one-off right now, but you could play this as a three-part session where you start off with a level one brew and then slowly build on that depending on how you do, you can progress upwards. And then at the end, you would add all three scores together. But just going straight into a more difficult one will give you a better example of how the game works and uh, kind of what the challenge here has to offer. So uh, we have everything that gets inserted in the bag at the start is shown up here. And there are 38 different tokens. We are going to be trying to reach a target strength of 20, uh, part of the, uh, the roast, which will be drawing at the end of the game into our cup. And we also need a certain flavor profile for bonus points. And of course, all this within uh, you know, a number of rounds of roasting. So we'll see how that goes. So I've got all my tokens put out here. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna throw everything in. There is quite a lot of tokens this game, but they do include a very nice organizer that keeps things separated. We'll go over that. Uh, we'll go to our review at the end. So, we'll make sure everything's mixed up real here. Uh, so each round we're going to draw based on the numbers at the bottom here. So for the first round I'm going to be pulling out six random tokens from the bag. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so water gets evaporated in the roasting process. It goes right back in the box. Uh, so I know I have five left here. Um, this is a pretty good start. I do want to get these hard beans roasted early because they are worth negative points at the end of the game for each X, red X shown. And uh, you can't really do any special abilities like combining them and stuff. A flavored token, which are these uh, red, green, and blue tokens, can be placed for actions on the, on uh, immediate actions, which is on the left side, you would immediately do the action shown here, as long as there is a space available and a token to place. The ones on the right side here, you will do the action of the flavor itself. In this case, the red is combined two, and you'll probably see me use it later. Uh, and then once you filled up the line, you gain the square token, which is a, a, a brewing phase ability that you get to do. So I think it's a little early for me to use that. So I am going to go ahead and just go straight into the first roast. So these three hard beans, oops, three hard beans are going to turn into zeros, which is what I want. And then everything goes back in the bag. We move up seven and you can see the starting point is actually based on how much water is in the bag so because we had seven moisture we started right at the beginning all right so one two three four five six seven okay and the water evaporates okay we are going to need or we're going to want two blues in our cup uh, and we only have four, so I don't want to use too many of them throughout the game. 
Uh, I might go just go ahead and roast again right away because I, I think I like where this is going. So the hard one turns into a zero, it goes in the bag, and the three zeros turn into ones each. And everything goes back in the bag. It's a good mixture here, and then we're drawing eight tokens. Uh, oh wait, by the way, we should add this cube here. So this tracker is just to show you kind of what the total value is in the bag. And uh, it is not guaranteed that you're going to draw that number. This is just kind of a feel for what's in here. And uh, probably the more that you play the game, the more you'll get to know kind of what you should be aiming for before drawing. But it's it's still part of the challenge. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the two water evaporate. So there's only a couple more waters left. Uh, greens, I don't really need any greens, but I don't want to necessarily use them right now to stash away. Reds, um, yeah, you know, I might just go ahead and brew. So the hard ones are not brew, but roasts. So the hard ones could turn into a zero. Two zeros are each going to turn into ones. And then we're just going to throw everything back. So I'm slowly kind of gaining knowledge about what's in here. I'm not quite ready to start affecting things too much yet, but I am probably will start soon. Um, I think we just added two more. I can't remember now. <laughs> All right, so let's draw nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This might be a good time to Get a wild maybe. And I feel like there's still a lot of zeros left. I could put the code back in a bag. I'll maybe go for an immediate effect. Throw two back in and draw two more. I have two greens. I don't need any of the greens. I might want to wait and use them here, actually. To unlock some of these abilities. So I don't think I need these just yet. Okay, well maybe this is a little boring, but let's just go ahead and upgrade. So three zeros turn into three ones, and the one turns into a two. So we've up moved up by four. And then everything goes in the bag. I don't know. I'll let you look what's in there. I don't know if you can see. I'm not gonna look. Still a lot of tokens in here. All right, so we're also adding these two smoke tokens now. And in this round where there's red, things are going to move up by two. So upgrading can actually get kind of dangerous. Uh, you don't want to necessarily go past four as your max. If you go do go past four, you burn a bean, uh, the bean. So that's not a good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, the water evaporates. And we're probably pretty good for double roasting. These will go up to threes, which is all I want. So I have way more reds than I need. I need to get a pretty high value of 20. Um, hmm. Pulling extra for the double. No, I am. I may want to save because I want to try to get rid of as many of these the bad bean tokens as I can. So I might wait a combine. Maybe we'll use a combine. Uh, I'm going to need the sweetness anyways, so let's use it there. So we'll take the two ones, combine them into a two, and then goes right in the bag. Now we'll go ahead and roast. So. The zeros are going to turn into twos. And the one is going to turn into a three. So those will go back in the bag. And these get put away. Oops. Okay. I don't know how much that went up by. <laughs> so I could probably count that. Uh, 
There was, what, five things there, so it went up by 10. Something like that. All right, now we're drawing 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Okay, we're single roasting. I'm not sure if I want the three. Oh, the, the three to go up to a four just yet. I definitely want the hard bean out of the way. Blue, do I use one of my blues now to split? I get split the three. Maybe I'll wait until I get to the point where I'm at a four. Um, you know, I might go ahead and grab the wild token. So I put a zero in the one and then get the wild token. That in there. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and roast now. So the heart turns into a zero. Two ones turn into two twos. And then the two and a three turn into a three and a four. So four, I don't definitely don't want to go higher than that. All right, now we're hitting the next double roasting phase. So this is uh, three more smoke tokens. I haven't removed any bad tokens yet. So what I'm gonna do a now is the time. All right, so 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we want to start, this might be a good round to flush out some of those nasty X tokens, the water goes away. It's my last water, I believe. Uh, I don't need any greens. I could spend a blue. Yeah, all right, let's do that. So we are going to draw five separately. Three go back in the bag and two go in the garbage. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll wait until we remove some stuff from the bag. Let's, um... Uh, this is double roasting. Okay, we'll put that there. We'll put the two twos back in the bag. And pull up two more things. And I better not get those two twos again, because that would be really annoying. Zero. Okay, that's perfect. And an X token? No. A red. Oh, a red. Okay, you want? I don't need as many reds, so I'm going to go ahead and play that and draw two more tokens from the bag. One, two. Okay. Let's do this action. So I'm going to take out five separately and I'll put them over here. One, two, three, four. five and I have to trash two put the other three back so let's trash the the hard bean and the double x and put the other three back now is this a good time to pull all those out I wish I was able to get more because there's still there's still a lot of bad stuff in there but maybe we'll do it Okay, let's, let's get rid of all these. That may be my best bet for the game, so let's try it. And that was a lot of actions. Now we're going to go ahead and double roast. So two zeros turn into two twos, and then two twos turn into two fours. So we're going up by eight. I, know I am so far behind on counting, I keep forgetting stuff. So I'm pretty sure I didn't count one of those middle rounds. So anyway, it's not necessary. This is not needed for scoring. It's just to give you a feel for what's in the bag. Uh, so if you mess up, it's entirely your own fault. All right, 13 tokens coming out. 
One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, I don't want I don't want that four to get roasted again. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and buy the sweetness token because that will be good for me. Do I want to double pick or to throw things back? I need some blues. I don't necessarily need everything else. Um, so that red. All right. So let's do the red action first before I move too far. So I can combine two things. Let's do uh, the two and the one. We'll turn it into a three. Uh, okay, which one do I want? I still have a green in there somewhere, but if I don't draw it, I won't be able to get that. One, two. If I use up two of my blues, I only have two left. I can't, you know, I can't use any more reds or I'll have no reds left. Which is not a good thing. I don't want to roast that. Four. One, two, three. You know, I'm, I may have to do it. I'm just gonna have to do it. There's another green there. Okay, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the, the Hail Mary here. So we're gonna split the four into two twos. Throw them in. Now we're gonna roast. So we have a one. Um, so we're going to play one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm sure again. I'm sure that's wrong. And then we have three threes and four. So three threes and a four. So that's going back in the bag. And the question is: Is now the time to? Roasts or not? I feel like maybe one more is the key. I would love to get another container. All right, well, let's, you know, I'm going to push it. Let's go for it. Okay, boom, one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. That four came out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. That's good. The green will let me save two to not get roasted. So let's do that. Uh, and then, and then we're gonna get roasted. So <laughs> gonna get roasted. Uh, so three to four. Uh, if we're going up uh, one, two, three, if we're going four. Uh, and then two threes and a two. So two threes and two. And all that goes back with those blues. Okay. So now it is time to go on to the roasting phase. That was as far as I can go anyways. So now we're going to be drawing and filling the cup here. I have two upgrades. I have the sweetness, which is kind of scorable. Normally the sweetness would count as a wild for one of the colors, but in this case it's actually required, uh, or not 100% required, but it counts as a flavor point. Uh, one of four possible things. Um, so what I'm looking for is if I get all four flavor points, I'll have 10 points out, 10 victory points out of that. If I get multiples of the same number, I get more. Uh, so that's good. And I want to not draw the uh, the negative, the, the bad beans. So make sure these are really good and shaken up in here. And let's begin. All right, a four. Okay, sure, we'll throw it in. Uh, all right, we'll leave this out. Smoke. 
three. So we're at, here, so we're at seven. Another smoke, let's leave that. Blue, perfect. Two, okay. Uh, the bad bean, we're gonna leave that. Another four. So we're at 13, we're gonna blow it too fast here. Blue, perfect. So that's good, I got three flare points right now. Another three. So I'm at 16, I wanna be at 20. And two more draws. So there's, there's definitely a little bit of luck here for this. Oh, the four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I, I want to draw some lower, oh, nope. I'm gonna to toss that there because I don't want to go over. Oh, the zero, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna leave it at the zero. I would have preferred the red. I could go for one more. Let's see what would have happened if I did go for one more. Oh, three, I would have gone way over. So that's a good thing I stopped there. So now I'm gonna look at my scoring. And we are right at the 20 here. So we are gonna get the full 12 points for bingoing that. Then we are gonna look at the flavor points. We have three out of the four possible flavor points. So there's another six, so that's 18. For the skill points, um, let's see, we have three, four, so that's only one extra point. Uh, and I got no negatives, so that worked out really well. So we have 12, uh, 18, 19 points out of that brew. Let me take a look here. So that worked out pretty well in my favor. All right, well, let's go and see what I think about the game. All right, and that was Coffee Roaster. Uh, as you can see, there is definitely a fair amount of luck involved, in, especially in that final bag draw. But you do get a lot of interesting choices throughout the game to manipulate that bag. It does feel like some rounds, especially early on, you're not really doing anything. You're just drawing, roasting, drawing, roasting, drawing, roasting. Like There's a little bit of that. But each of those rounds does give you more information as to what you're putting in the bag and what's possible of coming out. Uh, you know, obviously it's hard to keep track of everything possible in that, you know, in your head, but you will definitely have a feel for what's in the bag at the end. And I mean, it is interesting going back through the bag and you can kind of see things were fairly consistent, you know, and I did pretty good at focusing what I needed. I got some good rounded numbers. There's only one, negative token left and the, the red I was looking for uh, and you know the different abilities and actions again do let you have some control uh, over kind of the randomness you're kind of taking chaos and you're kind of shuffling it around until it's slightly ordered and then we're going with it and uh, which I mean I don't roast my own beans when I make coffee so <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge coffee style. I do enjoy a cup, cup of coffee. I can tell at least some difference between a good cup or not. Uh, you know, I when I use um, just make a coffee for myself at home in the evening when I'm learning or playing a board game, I'll use my AeroPress, uh, and I find that makes you know a wonderful cup of coffee. But I mean, I'm also grew up as a scout and scout leader, and I will drink coffee where like you're spitting grounds out at the end because, because the coffee was overflowing and that's all you had for, you know, for the trip. So again, I'm not, I'm no barista by any means, but I, you know, I do feel like it, uh, it captures at least the theme of the, of the coffee. You know, I don't think uh, any, any barista would be picking through individual beans like that. So thematically it's a little strange, but you know, the uh, extra sorting that gets put in, the the flavor profile stuff is interesting and they all relate to things like acidity and, um, and aroma and stuff like that. 
So the fan is definitely well integrated. You know, the smokiness, the you removing the moisture. Uh, like I do feel like a lot of it is is pretty carefully planned out, and uh, and it it just feels fun. It's just a fun, simple light game. You can play a single round in you know 10, 15 minutes, or play all three in half an hour and get uh, you know a nice little time out of it. So uh, let's take a little bit more dive into the details here. The components are great. The cardboard chits are going to last for a number of plays. And they are nicely sorted here in a, this box where there is a, a nice kind of place for everything. So it does stay well sorted. Uh, I don't fully trust storing the box sideways. You know, you may want to put in like a little bit of foam or something on top of uh, the board or whatnot, but I haven't had anything get shifted too much yet. But I can definitely see while well, traveling uh, pieces could fall out. You know, I did put the punch boards underneath to raise it up a bit, and that does help a lot. So I uh, remember to try that. Uh, but it like, keeps things organized. The pieces are nice. The artwork is nice. Everything is very clear and easy to understand. Uh, like I so said, there is a luck component. So if you do not like luck in games, you may want to avoid it. But the luck is largely only at the end of that final drawing phase. And you're not fully pushing your luck. There's a little bit of pushing your luck because you're trying to decide whether you should, you know, take out a bean and put it in a tray or not, or what type of abilities to choose before you go into that final push. You may decide that you uh, prefer one strategy over another. And, uh, and I can see that over multiple plays that might railroad you a little bit if you become fond of a certain strategy or a certain combination um, of abilities, you may end up going for that. But that may also, you, know, you may have your mind, mind changed for you because you may not have the flavor tokens to spend on your preferred strategy and you got, so you got changed a little bit. So overall, I do give this a, a quite a high review, a quite a high recommendation for anyone looking for a solo only game. Uh, something that is uh, relatively light, kind of breezy, easy going, with a nice, you know, comforting theme and uh you know a fair amount of replayability you are still doing the same kind of actions every time you play uh you know but you know if you're looking at just different challenges there is a quite a large number of different coffee roasts to try none of them are too incredibly different they're just slightly different variants in what the starting makeup is so take that with with what you will yeah you know there's even a nice little score pad included and uh, let me know what you think, uh, or if you have any other solo-only games you want to recommend, please leave a comment in uh, the comments. Uh, for other bag-building games, I did do a video playthrough and review of Warp's Edge, and um, you can take a look at that. And I, I might do a review now that the added Kickstarter stuff for the Anomaly expansion is out, and, uh, and that one's been fun to play. So please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel to grow. Thanks for watching and go out there and find time to play more games.